Yeah, best of, best luck, of luck with that. It's uh, one of the nation's favourite dishes. April is back in the kitchen. She's putting her twist on the classic, which is the shepherd's pie, isn't it? Mm, I love a good shepherd's pie. Adding, adding some Caribbean vibes. Bringing those vibes, babes. <laughs> so we are Where do bringing... we start with this, April? It looks incredible. At the bottom, we have lamb, but we are bringing the flavours of curry goat, as you would have traditionally Ooh, at home. Amazing. Right? So in my pan, I start off just with my onions and garlic, and then I add all my spices. So you have your turmeric for that lovely golden colour, curry, and I do use a hot one, but you can handle this, baby. Don't worry. <laughs> Right. In goes and that scotch bonnet. I have some all-purpose. The scotch bonnet this time, I just clap between my hands and put it in. Oh, okay. she's broken it. That's going to be spicy. Yeah, she's just broken <laughs> it. Just a little something. That's going to be what spicy. What your hands then? If you, like, take your contacts out or something, you just, like... Good thing I don't wear contacts. But you don't, you know. <laughs> But, and then there's a bit of thyme, which is really important. And I use white pepper because I find that it just gives a little bit more Love white yeah. than black pepper. I know what you mean. You know? And then some bay leaves and some salt. Bay leaves are strange, right? Because mm. it's kind of like, how do you describe the flavor of a bay leaf? Uh -huh. I don't really know, but I grew up with it, so I'm just going to stick to the vibe <laughs> because I'm too Pretty. scared to go left and then it all goes wrong. So I put that in and you really just want to kind of get your spices so that they're fragrant. You leave it in for a little bit with just a little bit of oil. And once you start smelling that your spices are doing their thing, then I add the meat. So this is just some lamb mince. And I'm going to brown it into the same pan with those same spices. It's really important that you cook your curry powder first. Right. If you've okay. ever had a curry and it kind of feels powdery. I know what you mean, yeah. And just uncooked, you just don't want yeah. uncooked curry. You really need to give it some time so that those spices get to cook and they taste delicious and develop their flavor. And then you put in your mince and you're going to brown that. And it's really simple because everything for your lamb mince is just one pot. So if you don't cook your curry and put your lamb in, does that, will, it, will the lamb not absorb the curry? I just find that whenever you have uncooked curry powder, it just doesn't deliver in And by uncooked, do you mean it needs to, like, It needs some time with the, with the onions right. and the garlic. And you'll start to smell it. If it. you're not starting to smell the spice, then your spices aren't cooked yet. Yeah. And you just need to... You suffering? Pipe. No, no, it's good. It's just piping hot. Not, hot, not, not scotch bonnet it's hot. Not it's not hot, It's actual though, hot, right? hot, isn't it? No, it's physically hot. OK, that's fine. Cos this one, I feel... I feel like this is definitely a winter warmer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's warming me up. So when you put in it? your lamb, you'll see it start to get brown. And again, let it get brown. Don't feel like you always need to play in the pan. And once it's done that, then you add your carrots. Right. Sorry, okay. what happened was I put a massive spoon in, yeah. realised it was piping hot. OK. But then I couldn't spit it out, <laughs> so I had to go through the section of, like... As long as you're the problem and not me. It's delicious. OK, great. That's <laughs> like what I want. The, 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 the Caribbean flavours are really coming through. I've never tried this before. Really? It's lovely, yeah. Really nice. And yeah. then we add our carrots, as you would do a traditional shepherd's pie, and then you add your stock at the end. So once everything would be brown, at home, you add your stock. And this, again, is going to bring that nice texture. You don't want a dry shepherd's pie. No. You want it to sort of be, like, elegantly coated in gravy. Yeah. And so when you add that, you basically put a cover on That's top. That's just beef stock. That's just beef stock. You put a cover on that and then you let that cook. And if you find that it's not the thick enough consistency, my magic trick is a bit of corn flour. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So if when you open your pan and you think it's just a it's bit too watery, wet, yeah. you know, a bit wet and you're not getting, it's not coating the meat, it's kind yeah. of like meat here, sauce here, then you just take a little bit of that gravy out yeah. and whisk it with a bit of corn flour. And this corn flour trick, you can use it for anything. So if you're making a gravy and you're loving the taste of the gravy, mm -hmm. but the consistency is just a bit thin, mm. get a bit of corn flour. The main thing that I want you to remember when you're using corn flour is don't just throw it in. Make sure People it have, water. Yeah, no, no, with the same liquid. Oh, OK. So if you have too much liquid in anything, so this is unfortunately, the perfect consistency. However, if it was too liquid, I would take a bit of that liquid, liquid out... That's a good idea. Put ...with the corn flour and then <sighs> gradually add it. Because if you add corn flour straight to your mixture, it just goes lumpy. Yeah. And you don't get that beautiful consistency. Great. But you can see in my pan that the meat and the sauce is one, and that's what you want. You don't yeah. want the separation. Mm -hmm. So then after we've done that, you put that in your pan. Oh, you like this part, Alison. I take out <clears> the bay leaves <throat> and the scotch bonnet. Oh, good girl. Yeah? Yeah. So it's, the... not spicy. it's not that spicy at all. No. no. 
it's just it's a perfect. Light. Yeah, you're happy. Yeah, no cream needed. Yeah, it's really lovely. Amazing. So you put that in your pan. You get your peas because we still want to keep it classic. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why this dish is a classic dish, right? So you put your peas in. You just scatter them over the top. You stick them in frozen, I guess. As well. Yeah, because they'll cook in. So they go into the oven for about 20 minutes and you make your quick mash. Now, the main thing I want you to just focus on for this mash is that it doesn't need to be perfectly smooth, right? This is a, a rustic dish. Yeah. And I love working with sweet potatoes. They're better for you than, than white potatoes. And they just have that sweetness. So you have yeah. like the warming spice at the bottom and then you have that sweet top. And I love sweet and spicy in my mm -hmm. savory food. I love sweet potato. It's one of my really? favorite. Really? Yeah, it's so good. And it's just also easy to make a really good yeah. mash. So you add your butter in, and then I put a bit of cinnamon, because I just find that it just makes, like, cinnamon and sweet potato. It's, a nice it's just pairing, the vibe. Who else put cinnamon in their food last week? Someone else did it, and it was really, well, really good, cool. doesn't yeah. it? And then you put that in, and then you just gradually add a bit of cream, and just whisk it. Again, you can kind of go and taste and see how much you need to add, but you don't need to worry. Don't get too stressful if there's a bit of lumps. It doesn't matter. This isn't... And you can also use the mash as a separate side. You don't have to just... I eat this if I'm having a little bit of chicken. You can have this on the side. I serve it right now at the restaurant with some Do salmon. You? Yeah, 100%. I love sweet potato. Me too. <laughs> like, Me too. Um, How's so... the restaurant going, by the way? It's going well. It's, it's good. Winter time brings the people indoors, babe. So oh, no. although normally I love the sun, my pocket loves the cold. <laughs> because whenever it's sunny, people want to be outside. They want to be on those beautiful rooftops. And then when it gets cold, you guys come back to me. <laughs> you come back to me. But we associate Jamaican food with like with being outside and stuff. Does, it, does the menu change a lot when you... I when change the, the menu comes? every three to four months. So uh -huh. we call it Modern British because we do definitely look at what is seasonal here. Yeah. And then we see, like, how can we infuse those flavours? So even like what we're doing now with the shepherd's pie, I currently have a dish that's a fish pie. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's not something that we eat in Jamaica, mm -hmm. but I put ackee into the mash nice. and we do a similar thing. Mm -hmm. So once that's done, again, guys, I, you just do it really easy. You just fork it on the top and then get that in the oven and 20 minutes you're good to go well jack whitehall's here actually come and try some if anyone down. is in need of some food it's poor jack this jack is probably been like 100 litter. times i've never ever been fed oh really never no. it's because you've had a kid so now we've now we know we feel a bit, a bit sorry for you you've been you. living on pot noodles and biscuits i got some caffeinated moisturizer there you from go and phil once Have vanessa it. felt sat on me on that sofa but i've never been given any food on this morning i must warn it is really hot <laughs> thank you i have a bit of a wimp when it comes to spice but it looks <laughs> no apparently oh, no. it's heat no, hot no, not like, spicy no, hot it's heat hot wimp. not spicy no, hot once accidentally did my butterfly chicken um medium at nando's on the following day the ass was like the flag of japan have a taste what do you think Oh, that is good. It's delicious, it is, isn't, it? isn't it? That is really good. Bit demeaning that I've been put at the children's table. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very nice to be finished. <laughs> well, that's cinema. Enjoy. I'll, put, I'll put your iPad on in a minute. Yeah, yeah. It totally <laughs> works. <laughs> Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll thanks. be talking to you very, very shortly. Not yeah, all the details of today's recipe, all the recipes uh, oh, for my yeah. chefs, but especially April's. Thank uh, you, April. That was delicious. Thanks, April. Uh, it's time to check in 